Hey guys, welcome to day six of Booktubeathon. I am super sad that the week is like almost over and it's already day six. Last night I did listen to a little bit of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and I'm on page 373. That's where I left off and I'm going to continue reading that today. I'm here. Hopefully I will be able to finish this by the end of the seven days, but I'm not sure if I can finish this today and tomorrow. I don't know if that's realistic. My goal is to finish one more book by the end of the readathon and if I can do that I'll be super happy. Um, so I have today and tomorrow to do that. I don't have anything to do today so I'm going to take a shower this morning number one um, right after I get off this vlog clip. I just finished editing the day five vlog which is shorter than the other ones because I was out. I finished editing that but I need to like take a thumbnail for that because I didn't have any clips that I really want to use for a thumbnail. I've been thinking about maybe continuing these vlogs after I finish the daily vlogs. I might do like maybe like a weekly vlog every once in a while or maybe like a monthly collection of some clips every once in a while just of me like reading and um, updating my progress of books or maybe I'll do like a vlog of me reading a certain book and just like not really a reading reaction vlog but just kind of like what's going on in my life while I'm reading that book. I feel like these videos are really fun for me to make and they're really easy and I just really really enjoy watching as well as doing them so I feel like that would be a good thing for me to start doing. As you just saw, I just had lunch and I had a really, really yummy salad. And before that, I took a shower. And now, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is on TV, so I'm going to watch that. But I'm going to try to read in between. Yes, this is hot chocolate again because apparently it just wants to be really cold and rainy in the middle of July. I also really want to get a lot of reading done today, but I don't want to force myself to read if I'm not in the mood to read. And I am, but I'm not. Like, it's a nice cozy day and it's the perfect reading day, but Harry Potter is distracting me. So I've been pretty distracted <laughs> from actually reading because of the movies on TV. I really want to watch the third one and the fourth one today, but that leaves like no time for reading. So maybe like during commercials, I'm going to mute it and then read. That is my update for now. I just read one chapter of Harry Potter. It is about 7.30 right now, and I really apologize for the lack of updates. The only reason I really haven't been updating you guys today is because I haven't really been reading. I don't want to force myself to read when I'm not in the mood, and today is just one of those days where I'm just not 100% in the mood for reading. And I was hoping to get a lot of reading done today, but I don't want to pressure myself. So I've just been having a relaxing day watching the Harry Potter movies. Good morning, everyone. It's day seven of Booktubeathon. I can't believe that it's the last day. That is actually so crazy to me because it's been such a fun week. Yesterday, as you guys know, I didn't really read anything. So I have decided to combine day six and seven's vlogs because hopefully I'll get more reading in today and this will actually be like a reading vlog rather than just like a random vlog of me not reading anything. My plans today are that I'm going to go eat breakfast and yesterday I couldn't have a smoothie bowl because we ran out of the ingredients but today we got more groceries so I'm gonna make another smoothie bowl but the rest of last night I ended up just watching Harry Potter so I'm going to have a productive day today. I have a lot of things on my to-do list that I need to get done. It is about one o'clock right now and it's actually beautiful outside. Let me try to show you, I have to do it this way. If you can see, it is gorgeous outside. It's like all blue skies and it's super nice. So I'm thinking about bringing Harry Potter out with me and reading out there. I think I'm gonna get dressed and get ready and then go outside and read. I thought of something today. I was thinking right after I finish Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, I'm planning on rereading at least the first three. And I was thinking, why don't I do like reading vlogs of my like 
not really reactions, but kind of reactions and updates on reading them just so I have kind of like reviews-ish for the Harry Potter books on my channel, but it's more like a vlog like this, um, just my day-to-day -day life while I'm reading those books. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. I would be happy to do that. And I think I might end up doing that because I think that that would be super fun. I just went outside and I came back in to get water and then I found a tick on my leg. So now I was like, okay, that's enough of outside, but I was it was very relaxing. I laid on a blanket in the grass and read and I actually read a lot. So I read 85 pages in We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. My goal is to finish this today. I really don't know if that's gonna happen, but it is my main goal for today. It's a pretty short book, so it's only like 218 or 219 pages. So I feel like I could finish this today if I really push myself and work and read it. Um, in addition to that, I've listened to a couple chapters in Shadow and Bone, and I've also listened to a little bit of Harry Potter, and I'm now on page 399. Um, I'm actually a little further than that. So my plan now is I'm going to try to get as far as I can in We Were Liars and I'm hoping to finish it by the end of the day so that way I will have finished three books during the Booktubeathon which was my goal was to finish at least three if not four. I don't think four is gonna happen but three maybe will happen and I can use this for a bunch of challenges like this is a hyped book, it has a person on the cover. I did read, so far I've read this entirely outside, but I'm not planning on going back outside, so that challenge I probably won't complete. And read a book in one day, if I can finish this, that will be accomplished. So this could fulfill like three challenges. I finished We Were Liars and I don't know how to feel about this book. I don't know what rating to give it and I don't know how I feel. I just, I have a lot of emotions about it and I also don't at the same time. I just don't know how to feel about it. And the ending was like, what? And I thought I saw it coming, but then I didn't and I was so confused and I really, really liked it. It's not a five star book for me. I'd say it's more like a four star, like a solid four star book. That book confused me so much, but it also kept me on the edge of my seat. I just have so many emotions about it, but I can't share them because you cannot really say anything about this and I completely understand why. What I will say is though, I didn't know how to feel about the main character, but I liked the other characters in the book and I really really liked them but I just didn't know how to feel about the narrator slash the main character of the book. Anyway, this completed the read a book in one day challenge and read a hyped book and read a book with a person on the cover so that's good but also like this book. We are in the final minutes of the booktubeathon and I just wanted to end this vlog and end this combined day six and seven vlog. I don't know how long it's gonna be once I edit it but I know that these days were kind of uneventful reading wise. Today I did finish a whole book and I'm super happy. So that brings my total for the booktubeathon to three books and I'm super super happy with that. I feel pretty proud of myself and I got a lot of reading done this week so I'm really happy. Plus I read over half of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. You could kind of count that because it's a really long book. I'm just watching some booktube videos and I'm kind of taking a break from reading tonight since I read that whole book today and I kind of just want to process it. But I will be having a full uh, 
wrap up video for the booktube is going up soon once I film it tomorrow and I'm going to be having a monthly wrap up go up as well. I really really enjoyed vlogging these past couple days. It's been so much fun and I've really really loved it and I've just had a lot of fun and I've done things that I wouldn't normally do because I felt encouraged because of the readathon. Like I read a lot more than I normally do and I went outside a lot which I do go outside pretty often, but I was more encouraged to go outside and read because of some of the challenges in the readathon. I just like how the booktubeathon brings everyone together, and it just makes me happy. I think I'm going to be doing more vlogs in the future. Um, I'm really, really considering vlogging my experience reading certain books. The moral of the story is I've really, really enjoyed vlogging for you guys, and if you guys want more vlogs, I'll definitely do them because I really, really love doing them, and they're really, really fun for me. I feel more motivated than ever to read. Um, after finishing We Were Liars though, I'm a little dead so I need like a little bit of recovery time. I am going to leave you guys now and I hope that you guys really enjoyed these vlogs and my booktubeathon journey and I hope that you guys had a fantastic amazing booktubeathon and you guys read a lot or maybe you didn't and you just really just enjoyed the week of reading with everyone. Whatever way you spent your booktubeathon week. I hope that you all had a really great week. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And you can also subscribe down below if you want to see more of my videos and I'll see you all next time. Bye!